What if I told you that losing a tooth might no longer be permanent? That instead of getting expensive implants or dentures, you could just grow a new tooth? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's happening right now in Japan. And today we're diving deep into the groundbreaking human trials that could revolutionize dentistry forever. Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're exploring one of the most exciting medical breakthroughs of our time. We're talking about the world's first human trials for a drug that can make your body grow brand new teeth. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how this works, what it means for the future of dental care, and when you might be able to get this treatment yourself. Let's start with the problem this research is trying to solve. Did you know that the average adult loses at least one permanent tooth by age 44? And by age 65, nearly 30% of adults have lost all their natural teeth. Worldwide, tooth loss affects billions of people, impacting not just their ability to eat and speak, but also their confidence and quality of life. Currently, if you lose a tooth, you have three main options, dental implants, bridges, or dentures. Implants are the gold standard, but they're expensive, often costing $3,000 to $5,000 per tooth in the United States. They also require surgery and months of healing time. Bridges require grinding down healthy adjacent teeth, and dentures, well, Anyone who's had them knows they're not quite the same as natural teeth. But here's the thing that makes this new research so revolutionary. Humans actually have the genetic blueprint to grow three sets of teeth, not just two. We get our baby teeth, then our adult teeth, and then nothing. But that third set, it's there in our DNA, just waiting to be activated. Most mammals can regenerate teeth throughout their lifetime. Sharks can grow thousands of teeth in their lifetime. So why can't we? Well, Japanese scientists think they've figured out how to unlock that hidden potential. Leading this groundbreaking research is Dr. Katsu Takahashi, working out of Kitano Hospital in Osaka, Japan, in collaboration with Kyoto University. Now, this isn't some startup working out of a garage. These are world-renowned institutions with decades of experience in regenerative medicine and dental research. Dr. Takahashi has been studying tooth development for over 15 years, and his team has been specifically working on this tooth regeneration project since the early 2010s. What makes their approach unique is that they're not trying to grow teeth in a lab and transplant them. They're trying to make your own body grow new teeth naturally, using the biological mechanisms that are already there. The journey to human trials has been long and methodical. They started with basic research into tooth development, moved to computer modeling, then animal studies, and now, finally, human trials. This systematic approach gives us confidence that they're not rushing into anything dangerous. All right, let's get into the fascinating science behind this breakthrough. And don't worry, I'm going to explain this in a way that makes sense, even if biology wasn't your favorite subject. The key to this entire discovery is a protein called USAG1. Think of USAG1 as a biological stop sign for tooth development. During normal human development, after our adult teeth come in, USAG1 essentially tells our mouth, that's enough teeth. Stop making more. But here's the incredible part. We still have dormant tooth buds in our jaws. These are like sleeping seeds that have the potential to grow into full teeth, but USAG1 keeps them from activating. It's like having a garden full of seeds that never sprout because someone keeps telling them it's winter. So what does this new drug do? It's an antibody that specifically targets and blocks USAG1. When you remove that stop sign, those dormant tooth buds wake up and start developing into actual teeth. The researchers describe it as allowing the growth of a third set of teeth beyond baby teeth and adult teeth. The technical term for this drug is an anti-USAG1 monoclonal antibody. 
monoclonal antibodies are incredibly precise. They're like molecular smart bombs that only target one specific protein. This precision is crucial because you don't want a drug that affects other parts of your body's development. What's beautiful about this approach is that it's not introducing anything artificial. The drug simply removes a natural break, allowing your body's existing systems to do what they already know how to do. The new teeth that grow are genetically identical to your original teeth. They're made from your own stem cells with your own DNA. Before jumping to human trials, Dr. Takahashi's team conducted extensive animal studies, and the results were nothing short of remarkable. In mice, a single injection of the anti-USAG1 drug was enough to trigger the growth of new teeth. These animal studies weren't just about proving the drug worked, they were also crucial for establishing safety profiles and optimal dosing. The researchers needed to understand how long the effects lasted, whether there were any side effects, and what happened to the animals long term. The good news is that the animals showed no adverse effects from the treatment. The new teeth didn't interfere with existing teeth, there were no signs of toxicity, and the animals maintained normal dental health. As of early 2025, the trial is still ongoing, and detailed results haven't been published yet. However, the fact that the trial is proceeding as planned suggests that no major safety issues have emerged. While the current trial focuses on healthy adults, the researchers have much bigger plans for who this treatment could help. The next planned trials will focus on children with congenital toothogenesis, a condition where people are born missing one or more permanent teeth. This affects about 5% of the population and can range from missing one tooth to having no adult teeth at all. Anyone facing the choice between expensive implants and less ideal alternatives. The psychological and social impact could be enormous. Tooth loss affects self-confidence, social interactions, and even career prospects. Being able to restore natural teeth could have profound effects on people's overall quality of life. So when might this treatment be available to the general public? The researchers are projecting commercial availability around 2030. Beyond congenital conditions, this treatment could revolutionize care for cancer patients who lost teeth due to radiation or chemotherapy, people with severe dental trauma from accidents, elderly individuals who've lost multiple teeth,